of the items that were stored in my pantry, their art things. So there's a beading loom, and this is a paint by number of my daughter, so I need to ask her if she's done with that. There's Play-Doh things, and in here there's paint markers. So I'm just gonna go through and see what we'll keep for the kids' art supplies. They each have some things, colored pencils and things in a pencil box, but these are kind of the community things. Everybody can use these. So I'm gonna go through and tidy these items. All right, we also have some art things for the kids on this shelf. So I'll be going through them as well. All right, I have a plastic bag full of garbage and then this is one of the drawers. I pulled the drawer out of the blue unit so we've got all our tempura paint, Mod Podge, some colored sand. All the Play-Doh things are here. There's paint and under the paint is the Play-Doh. Paint brushes that will be for the tempura paint. So markers, crayons, and more markers, and then pom-poms, beads, a little wood project, and some more of the sand, and then some oil pastels. All fit in the drawer nicely. And then that paint by number, and then I'll show you. Right here's the kids' art supplies. The green box has the markers and colored pencils, and the pink one has crayons. And then the air dry clay that goes for the pottery wheel, which is down here. And I keep those boxes here so that the kids can grab them quickly. Then the pottery wheel, my daughter's current paint by number, another watercolor how to, another paint by number, and then a cookie sheet there to use to air dry pottery and then the drawer. What I did is I put the painting smock inside the drawer. You can see it there. It's the plaid and I took out the two boxes that have the crayons, the pencils, and the markers which are used the most frequently. The things in the drawer are less frequently used art supplies and that looks much better and it's all together.